Yo, I am Dr. Cool. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we Zimbabwe, land of majestic landscapes, abundant wildlife and self-powered cars. That's right, folks. Just when you thought 2025 couldn't get any weirder, it does. A genius named Maxwell Chikumbutso decided to throw a little garden party, tucked away in a secret location. And what was the centerpiece, you ask? Not a bouncy castle, but something far more intriguing, a car that supposedly runs on radio waves. Now, I've heard of running on fumes, but this is ridiculous. This wasn't some backyard tinkering session either. Oh, no, this was an exclusive affair. We're talking dignitaries, government bigwigs, the whole shebang. It seems Mr. Chikumbutso wasn't shy about inviting the whole country to witness his automotive miracle, but is it a miracle or a bit of clever trickery? We'll get to that. The atmosphere was electric, and I'm not talking about the car. Whispers of revolutionary and game changer zipped through the crowd faster than a speeding bullet. Everyone, from the suited-up officials to the curious onlookers, held their breath waiting for the grand reveal. And reveal it he did. Now, I love a good car as much as the next petrol head, but Chikumbutso wasn't stopping there. Oh no, he had a whole buffet of self-powered goodies lined up. A superbike, sleek and silent, promising to whisk you away without a drop of fuel. A generator humming along, supposedly churning out electricity from thin air. And the piece de resistance, a drone, hovering effortlessly, mocking the very laws of physics, or so it seemed. It was a technological smorgasbord, all promising a future free from the shackles of fossil fuels. Imagine a world where your car never sees the inside of a petrol station again, where your electricity bill is a distant memory, a relic of the past. This was the utopia Chikumbutso was selling. The crowd, fueled by curiosity and perhaps a dash of skepticism, jostled for a closer look. Everyone wanted a piece of the action, eager to lay eyes on these marvels of modern engineering. Or were they elaborate hoaxes? The line between genius and madness, as they say, is a thin one. So what's the secret source? What miracle of engineering allows these contraptions to defy the laws of thermodynamics? Enter the microsonic energy device. This, my friends, is the beating heart of Chikumbutso's inventions. A mysterious black box about the size of a bread bin covered in wires and blinking LEDs. It looks like something out of a low-budget sci-fi film, but don't let that fool you. According to our friend Maxwell, this little box is a technological marvel capable of harnessing the invisible energy around us. Radio waves, those invisible signals that carry our music, our phone calls, our very lives in the digital age, are apparently the key. This device, Chikumbutso claims, can capture these waves, these tiny packets of energy, and convert them into usable power. It's like turning on the radio and having your house lights flicker to life. Sounds bonkers, doesn't it? The crowd leaned in, captivated by the sheer audacity of it all. Could this unassuming box be the answer to our energy woes? Could it really be this simple? The air crackled with anticipation as Chikumbutso prepared to unleash his truth upon the world. God, poison and radio waves inside the mind of Chikumbutso. Chikumbutso, a man who clearly doesn't lack confidence, took to the stage. With the charisma of a seasoned preacher, he launched into a speech that was part science fiction, part sermon. He spoke of divine inspiration, of a higher power guiding his hand. He painted a picture of a world plagued by energy poverty, a world on the brink of collapse. And then he presented himself and his inventions as the saviors, the answer to our prayers. He didn't just stop at technical jargon. Oh no, he then launched into a tale of intrigue and betrayal. A story of his time in Silicon Valley, of shadowy figures and attempts on his life. Poison was his reward for daring to dream too big. He spoke of conspiracies of powerful forces trying to silence him to keep his technology hidden from the world. The crowd, captivated by his every word, hung on his every syllable. It was a performance worthy of a Hollywood blockbuster, a blend of scientific jargon, religious zeal, and not a good old-fashioned conspiracy theories, but reality. Let's hear from the distinctive guest from Elite University of Zimbabwe's that have verified his technology and fully endorse his work. Perhaps this will help mitigate the harsh tones of destructive skepticism that's still trolling the comment section with false claims of debunk without substantial evidence to back the debunk other than mere allegations. 
If it's in a functional society, those caught in the act of attempting to discredit such invention must be brought forward not only to prove their claimed, but to face their atrocities. However, let's hear from the elite university representative that came to uphold the claimed of Maxwell Chikumbutso. To the men of God, Pastor Katsandi and Maxwell. Uh, my task is very easy today, much as I am a keynote speaker, but I've also come a long way uh, with Max. I think after hearing of his uh, innovations that were disruptive and defying uh, the laws of physics, I made it a point that I visited him and it led me to his factory and laboratory and I was as disturbed confused as most of the comments that we are seeing today on social media, which regrettably lack any information and are not factual about what is on the ground. I've touched and experienced the phenomenal unbelievable power that is coming out of the microsonic energy technology. I want to acknowledge the dignitaries that are here, uh, some that are viewing this um, on social media, online, I also want to acknowledge the CEO and um, Say Holdings uh, Technologies Board and uh, the key men driving these technologies, Maxwell uh, Chukumbuzo. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, innovators, I know there are innovators in this room, industry leaders, members of the fourth estate who are here present, friends and technology, friends of technology, good evening to all of you. It is indeed a privilege and an honor to stand before you today at this remarkable occasion at the launch of safe technologies, groundbreaking microsonic energy technology. We gather here not only to celebrate a technological milestone, but to witness the dawn of a new chapter in energy innovation, born and developed right here on the African soil. <laughs> innovation has always been the driving force behind humanity's progress, as the CEO has rightfully underlined. As we confront the mounting challenges of energy scarcity, environmental degradation and economic inequality, technology offers a beacon of hope. Today the world stands at the intersection of technological advancement and sustainability imperatives. Clean and efficient energy solutions are no longer optional, they are critical. This microsonic energy technology development by Safe Technologies promises to address these global concerns by offering efficient, self-sustaining and clean energy alternatives. What makes today even more significant is that this breakthrough has been pioneered by one of your own. <laughs> Maxwell Sangulani Chikumbuzo. Maxwell is a testament 
to the boundless ingenuity that resides within our continent. His work serves as an inspiration not only to Zimbabwe, but to the entire African continent. For far too long, Africa has been a consumer rather than a producer of technological advancement. Science technologies is changing that narrative. This launch symbolizes a shift towards homegrown solutions designed to meet global challenges. Supporting local innovators like Maxwell is not just a moral imperative, it is a strategic necessity for our development and competitiveness on the global stage. The microsonic energy device has the potential to revolutionize how we generate and use energy. Imagine a future where industries, homes and transport systems are powered by clean, self-sustaining energy sources. This technology promises to reduce dependence on fossil fuels and transforms industrial applications by providing energy solutions that are efficient, scalable, and sustainable. The implications for sectors such as manufacturing, transportation, and telecommunications are immense. We are on the brink of a cleaner, more energy secure future. As Zimbabwe pursues its national development strategy and aligns with the international environmental agreements, SAFE Technologies stands as a crucial pioneer in achieving these goals. The global push for net zero emissions and sustainable energy solutions makes innovations like the microsonic energy device invaluable. SAFE's efforts demonstrate that Zimbabwe is not just participating in these global conversations, but is also leading in it. However, for innovation to thrive, collaboration is essential. And SAFE Technologies is also calling upon the private sector, research institutions, and academic bodies to partner with it. By working together, we can accelerate the commercialization of this technology, create local manufacturing opportunities, as well as global, and foster an environment of technological excellence. As one of the universities in this country, Harare Institute of Technology, is satisfied with our relationship with science technologies, which include acting as a scientific advisor, pilot testing and validation of inventions, amongst other obligations. The Harare Institute of Technology will support this journey through research partnerships and talent development. As we look to the future, I firmly believe that safe technologies will become a cornerstone of Africa's technological and industrial landscape. Maxwell Chikumbuto and his team are redefining what is possible and their work reminds us that it's Africa's time. Together we can build a future where Africa is not just a participant, but a leader in technological innovation and sustainable development. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, as we celebrate this launch, let us remember that innovation is a journey, not a destination.
Muted cheers and raised eyebrows, the dignitaries react. Even the dignitaries, usually a stoic bunch, couldn't help but react. Some, swept away by Chikumbutso's infectious enthusiasm, offered tentative nods of approval. Others, more skeptical, maintained a healthy dose of side-eye, their faces a mask of polite disbelief. It was like watching a tennis match, heads swiveling back and forth between Chikumbutso and his inventions, trying to make sense of it all. The silence after his speech was deafening, then a smattering of applause, hesitant at first, then growing in volume. Whether they were applauding the man, the idea, or simply the sheer audacity of it all was anyone's guess. The air buzzed with a strange mix of excitement and uncertainty. Could this be real? Could Zimbabwe, a nation often overlooked on the global stage, be on the cusp of a technological revolution? Or was it, as some whispered, an elaborate hoax, a desperate attempt to grab headlines? Science or smoke and mirrors the great Chikumbutso debate. Now, I'm no scientist, but even I know you can't just magic up energy from thin air. The laws of physics, as far as I'm aware, still apply even in Zimbabwe. And the scientific community, well, let's just say they weren't convinced. Accusations of pseudoscience and outright fraud flew faster than a speeding ticket on the autobahn. Chikumbutso, for his part, remained defiant. He dismissed the skeptics as naysayers, stuck in their old ways, blind to the possibilities of the future. He claimed to have patents pending, proof that his inventions were the real deal. But the patents, well, they never seemed to materialize. The debate raged on in newspapers, on television, and of course on the internet. Was Chikumbutso a visionary, a modern day Tesla, or a charlatan, a master manipulator? The jury, my friends, is still out. A world without wires, could this be our future? Imagine a world powered by the air around us, no more petrol stations, no more power lines, no more reliance on fossil fuels. It's a tantalizing thought, a utopian dream that has captivated humanity for centuries. Chikumbutso's inventions, whether real or imagined, tap into this deep-seated desire, this yearning for a cleaner, more sustainable future. Whether his technology stands up to scrutiny remains to be seen. But one thing is for sure, Chikumbutso has sparked a conversation, a debate about the future of energy, about the role of innovation, and about the fine line between genius and madness. So what do you think? Is Chikumbutso the real deal or a master illusionist? Is self-powered technology the stuff of dreams or the next big thing? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.